Uh, the reason I say that I don't think you're being unkind is a lot of the people who who felt this way, and this is this is this is something that, that emerges throughout the book. A lot of the people that felt this way in 2010 would agree with you now that that particular form does allow for people like me in the international media to play too large of a role in defining what the protest means because the protest is not defining for itself to the world what it means and opens the space for outside actors to to intervene in an imperialist or or opportunistic way. But you're absolutely right that Tahrir Square ends up functioning as this kind of bat signal to the world of like, look at this amazing, look at this amazing uh, people led uprising and look at these amazing scenes, look at this amazing, uh, inspiring, uh, 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 I think I call it in the book and I'm not trying to be sarcastic, like a carnival of prefiguration, like in, in, you know, first you have the revolution in Tunisia, which is started and this is you know uh often neglected but really like radical leftists and unions play a, a role in, in making that happen from the very beginning um egypt uh is to some extent inspired by tunisia but egypt that scene in tahrir square of the people taking downtown cairo uh and living uh you know living in communion with people across sort of uh, different uh, boundaries in, in Egyptian society is like an incredibly powerful media spectacle that continues to be pop, you know, continues to be copied throughout the rest of the decade. And I think uh, this is a, a strength and a weakness of social media, because what you see is that that model continue, is, is copied not only in countries with wildly different political and economic systems. Uh, it is not only copied, uh, adopted in countries that have entirely different uh, national histories and, and government uh, 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 and governments, it continues to be copied after the original Tahrir revolution doesn't work out, after it becomes clear that that doesn't work out in the long run. Um, and as you say, this particular repertoire, back in the 2010s, I mean, I remember this, back in 2010, 2011, it was viewed as sort of almost automatically it was automatically assumed that this particular repertoire of contention, that people rushing to the streets because of digital coordination, that internet led stuff would automatically be progressive and liberatory and democratic. And this is very, quite complicated to if you think about it because everybody has their own ideas of what, what liberation dem democracy means. But back then everybody all thought that it was gonna work out for them. As we get longer, further and further in the decade, it becomes clear that no, anybody can do this. And you know, this is the, why the, 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 quick, the quick chapter on Indonesia in 20, 16 is interesting because, you know, an Islamist group do this to try to get the governor of Jakarta imprisoned for committing blasphemy based on fake news on Facebook, basically. And it, and it works. Uh, as you get further down the decade, it becomes clear that anybody can adopt this kind of thing. And I think, you know, now in 2023, you probably get the exact opposite op uh, interpretation of what you would in 2011. If I were to describe in 2023, the scene of a swarm of angry young men uh, 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 descending on the Capitol because of something they saw on the internet, the average person would think, oh, well, this could be bad. This is <laughs> red flags might go off. Whereas in 2011, it was just like, well, anytime that happens, it's history with a capital H pushing us towards the global, the, uh, a global situation in which everybody is free in whatever way that I believe that we should be free. And this really flips as we learn that, you know, the repertoires can be used by anyone, social media can be used by anyone. And indeed, and this is sort of the tragic thing in the book, indeed, people with even the best intentions can can and can get wrapped up in an uprising in which bad actors can take take advantage of the chaos and impose their own will uh, on the country.